I went on two dates with a guy. Haven't heard from him in a week. Honestly, I haven't even thought about him. Until I get this text. And it's just so awkward. I had a really great time meeting you, but I don't think we should go on another date. We haven't talked in a week. I think I got it. But I'm also feeling so rejected by this for some reason. I would have rather him just ghost me, honestly. Because I was... We were both ghosting each other. He ruined our mutual ghost. Is anybody else like this or am I alone? You're alone. I feel like if anyone's going to know the answer to this question, it's TikTok. Where do all the single 30 to 40 year old guys hang out? The guys that actually want a relationship. I want to know. My single friends want to know. All the tables of like hot babes just waiting for guys to show up and talk to them. Where are you guys? Staying away from you. I think it is so easy for us to beat ourselves up whenever a guy rejects us thinking we weren't enough or we weren't pretty enough or we weren't this or we weren't that. And that's just not fucking true. I want you to go out and do something that makes you feel happy and confident. Cause believe it or not, before this man came along, you did exist in this world and you were perfectly happy without him. Go get a manicure, go get a pedicure, go work out, go take some nudes. Get drunk with your girls, make out with somebody. There are a plethora of men out there who would be lucky to have you. That's so arrogant. That's screw off. Everyone has their own insecurities, even I do. I'm insecure about this. You know what? If you can't get a man, be a man. Be a man for yourself. What the fuck? Just a friendly reminder on this glorious day that just because a girl is single does not make her sad and lonely. And just because she's going on dates does not make her desperate and it does not make her skanky. And just because she knows exactly what she wants and she's not willing to settle does not make her picky and high maintenance. It does, 100%. Real men of genius.